Mary with Front Porch Ideas and more. And today, Dave and I are trying to bring some new life to our old outdoor furniture. So we've got chairs that we're going to paint kind of like a cherry red. So this is what the chair looks like before. And what I've done to this chair is I've started to mask it off to get ready for spray painting. And if you're like me, you find that when you spray paint, it takes longer to do the masking than it does to actually do the painting. So what I'm gonna paint on this chair is I'm gonna paint the arms and the legs and a little bit of trim that's right on the side. And it's probably hard to see that on the camera because it all blends in. But I used some packing paper that we had to cover up the, the webbing on the seat. And you could just use newspaper. I just used masking tape and the packing paper. And as you can see, I also did the back because I don't want to paint the seat. I don't think that would look too great. And the paint that we're going to use is Rust-Oleum. It's gloss protective enamel. And uh, the color is called Sunrise Red Bonus. It's like this. It's kind of like a candy apple red. So now you can see how, e how easy it is to spray paint this chair. This is the easy part. You have to make sure you shake up the paint really well and shake it up while you're doing it. And the idea is to not put too much on because you don't want it to drip. But this paint is pretty forgiving. Ooh, the color is really pretty. Just a light coat to start with. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this little strip right here. It's all about just not getting carried away and putting too much on at a time. Just a light touch. And then if you look at your chair closely, you'll see that behind here there's more, more places that you want to get. And then eventually we'll have to turn the chair over to get the bottom as well. I just flipped the chairs over so that I could paint the bottom. There's not a whole lot of paint left in my can and I really don't want to buy more paint so I'm not going to be real fussy about getting every single spot. But I am going to try to get the areas that I know that you're going to see. So we'll get that. And I'm going to just I'm going to get under the under the armrest. Get those spots first. Then I'll see how much paint I've got left. You don't really have to get every single spot because you're not going to see it. And today is actually kind of a humid day. It's probably not the best day for spray painting, so it's taking a little bit longer for it to dry, but it's coming along. So the next thing is, is we're going to take the paper off the chairs, and you can see the finished chairs, and I think they're going to look great. I let the chairs dry overnight, and I think they turned out really great. The bright red color brightens up this end of our porch really well. So if you're looking to spruce up your porch furniture, don't forget about the power of just using a can of spray paint. Get more ideas like this from our website, porchideas.com. This is Mary. See you on the porch.